Hello and welcome to part 6 of the Temple of Elemental Evil. I'm just going to quickly show you a few things. So off camera I healed a little bit but still didn't have enough healing spells to for everyone to recover. And I put the Masterwork Studded Leather on my Male Gnome Ranger Riot and it gave him plus one armor class so that was handy. I actually need to check if I picked I'm sure I picked up more of that didn't I? Or did I? Oh, well, maybe I did not. Never mind. We'll get more later on and we can put it on my other ranger. I think if we put it on her, the chain armor, then she'd actually lose some dexterity bonus. I think that's how it works. Anyway, if we went up these stairs, we'd run into about. 20 goblins. Right away. Um, they're easy to beat, but they would take a while. And they don't really offer that much experience. I think we probably get 50 experience. Which is really not worth doing. As you wish. I would do it if I wasn't recording, but waste of time. So let's go back to South Hall, actually. Huh. Let's... No, let's engage them. There's only three. We should take a hand with them. Where's the three? We'll do. They might actually... No, they have crossbows. I was going to say they might be able to offer me some arrows. Okay. I'm not going to work on them, actually. And my damn wizard is caught right there. Luckily, they went for Darko. Actually, Tim, yeah, Tim, I know. Okay. Which one's Darko? What does he do? He's also he's the sorcerer. Isn't he? and it looks like I'm going to struggle to get out of the way of this guy. Just go okay. There. okay. Actually, what's uh, the spell style? I've still got some magic missiles. Nico that. He has something like a barbarian rage, which I'm also going to call myself. Yes, sir. What this does is it increases your strength and constitution. But I think it's at the cost of your dexterity. Yeah, as you can see, my armor class has dropped too much. Yes, sir. Oh, okay. Um, as long as we take this guy out. As you command. Yeah. Oh, that's bad. That's bad. Okay, here you go. Over there. Okay. And cast the spell. You can. You can't cast much. He's just a sort of flag. Might as well just shoot. And what? Ah, good one. I say yes. That didn't go too badly, and we got 90 experience for it. Which is a lot more than we would have got for fighting the goblins, I believe. As you he got He's got a lot of money, see, that's why I did it. Money. 20 platinum. Oh yeah, I should also note that I did loot that chest off camera in the place. Uh, it turns out that um, this guy on the end here can loot, can unlock easy chests. Some barbarian armor, chameleon, uh, great axe. Wait, can he carry? A hundred, that's right. Alright, that's cool, we can carry that and sell it. The gloves and the barbarian armour are a waste of time, I think. I mean, yeah. I mean, I could try it, I suppose, put on a barbarian. He's not over encumbered, is he? No, he's fine. Some stuff to sell. These two guys will... Oh, they've got some crossbow bolts, I suppose. So who needs crossbow bolts? Him? Yeah. Pretty sure he's got a lot already, but no big deal. We don't need a long sword, we don't need leather armor, and we don't need a hat. Yes, sir! Oh, you have a bow, not crossbow. 
Did the hat cast the, uh... Oh, him. Okay, we can give him that. Or was that the wrong guy? No, that was cool. That was cool. Now, once you have an encounter on a map like that, then you won't get another one if you travel. Now, before we hand in that quest, we really need to rest. At your service. Now, what you want to do with a large party like this, and I am going to save it because it tends to crash at this part, is you rest eight hours. Don't rest until fully healed because that's actually longer. Not that time has any bearing on us at this point. And then you will use your cleric. You, by the way, should now have more spells because I leveled up. Or not, did I not? Yeah, okay. Maybe not then. But still, we only get Cure Light Wings right away. to But that's alright, because we're going to rest again. Okay. Spells back then. At your service. Okay, now if we rest, everyone should be fully healed. Hopefully no one gets disease. Yeah, excellent. Now we're going to hand this in, this quest. If I can get out of the way of the damn door. Right away. Right. Oh, we also want to sell our garbage, don't we? So let's do that while we're here. Got a lot of stuff. We make a little bit of money. It all, it all adds up. We need as much money as we can get because later on we will be creating armor and weapons with magic spells. So who has the highest appraisal? Because we get the best deals. He's got one. None. He's got one, 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 3.5, okay, cool. Okay, we'll use him to talk to the guy. For every level, for every point of appraisal, you get an extra 3% extra money from selling items. So if you have one appraisal, that's... I think zero appraisal means that he... It's a 40% markup if you have zero and it adds 3% up to about 98 or something. So you see I get two gold for the brown armor from him, but if I do that, then he goes up to 15 if I have to buy it back. Now the higher your appraisal, the cheaper, the more money you will get for selling it. So someone with a good enough appraisal would get 15 or more for selling the armor there. I'm not going to sell the short sword. And I'm not a fan of axes in this game, to be honest. I'm going to keep that. No, I'm not. Those carnelians aren't worth anything, I don't think. Let's just start from here and go along. We can't sell slings. Oh, we still need to identify these magic scrolls, my bad. I'll do that off camera when we when we finish the part because that takes friggin' ages. You have to keep read magic, rest, read magic, rest. It's a, kind of annoying. You keep that long sword. And sell the hide armor. The barbarian armor as well, because that's just as good as a chain shirt, I think. Doesn't do anything, so we can sell that. Let go. We still have short sword. Don't really need that. And yeah, that, that should be it. So now we save it, of course. Always save it as many times as you can. And let's go hand in that quest, and then we'll do the melt house.
or should we do Amity Meadows? I don't think it makes a difference at level 2. To be honest, Amity Meadows doesn't give you that much experience. Especially with a party this size. And it can be a bit... I don't know, it depends on your luck I suppose. Sometimes Amity Meadows can go really well. And sometimes it can just they can just hit you every time. Show you how much experience we need to reach level three. We need three thousand, and we're on fourteen hundred and ninety. Okay. So we're halfway there already. Not too bad. And now, yeah, I'm I crazy for saving the game. Like anything that saves me having to repeat things when it crashes. So we could either go to up here, Emerald Meadows, which I haven't actually picked with a quest yet, stupidly. Or well, we're actually going to go here and do the moat house, I believe. I think it's a little bit easier to be honest. You definitely get more stuff and more experience. Uh huh, blah blah blah. Should encounter some frogs in a minute. They can be a bit annoying, especially if you're soloing. Just finding the trigger. Here we go. Activate my right away. Mage. As you wish. Oh, he's a cleric anyway. I forgot. I thought he was a barbarian because he looks like one. Stupid idiot. Now he's gonna die. Okay. okay. I'm still not gonna activate my barbarian rage because there's more enemies and I don't want to waste it. Just make sure we get out of the way. Okay. I'm also not gonna use any spells yet. Okay. Yes, sir. And you see, that was the ready versus approach. He came near me, and I was ready. And I managed to stop his movement. Yes, sir. Critical hit, thirty-two damage. Lovely. Good. Yes, sir. I don't know why it was coming out, but he get an attack of opportunity. He wouldn't be he was dead. Yes, sir. Of course. Positioning is very important and in this game. Yes. You don't want your wizards and rangers standing around. Will do. When there's giant frogs about to kick their asses. Ah, come on! Seriously! Right away! Okay! Thank you! Somebody finally managed to land a hit on me. I don't need to be. I, me I think that, that frog's coming after me. Ah, oh, I used too much movement and now I can't attack, apparently. I mean, I could use a magic missile. Thing off, yeah. Yes, sir. On, my monk does not have a cleaver. That's most unfortunate. Let's go for this one back. Okay. Here. So far, this is going quite swimmingly. At one. Oh, here they go. These frogs can do a grapple attack, and then eventually swallow you. 
This is yes. their most dangerous feature. You can try and break free of it. Right away. By the gods' will. Exertion. Will do. I should have gone here again. It doesn't matter. Me go that. Five foot step. If you don't use a five foot step, then you don't get your As you wish. Attack. Okay. Speaking of which, I think I should show in a minute how okay. it's actually well. I'll explain how armor works, but I don't think I did it enough. I can do it. It only takes two seconds. It's quite simple. Yes, sir. Come on, you can hit that. Go on, will. Cleric. Yeah, nice one. And they awarded us 112 each. Okay. And if you are an evil party, then one of these frogs will have Black Jay's ring on them. Just as a note. So the way attacks work, the way damage works, this number here. Right, so the computer will roll an imagined 20-sided dice. A 20 will always hit and do a critical. And apart from that, this number here is added onto the roll of the dice. Now, let's say you roll a 17. So that'd be 17 plus 6. Now, that number has to match or defeat the enemy's armor class here. And then the computer will roll a damage roll which is this number here, 1d8. So that's one eight-sided dice. And I can't remember. I think you add your strength bonus on top of that as well. So you could roll an eight, which would be plus one, because it's a plus one sword, and plus one again, because I think it's holy, and then you add plus three to that. So there's a lot of damage you can potentially do. I think that's how it works. I can't remember that. And I play D&D pen and paper all the time, and I still can't remember. I need to look that up, actually. Right, so we're actually going to save you because there's a couple of annoying accounts coming up. But hopefully, we can get in this room here without alerting the bandits. Right away. Can we do that? Yes, okay, cool. So final fight for the path. This stupid giant spider is not going to be there. Okay. Target block. Right away. Uh, yeah, okay. By the gods' right. will. Get another way. Okay. As you command. At once. Now, I'm going to use my magic missile here. At once. If you defeat the spider, you see there's also a chest in there. If you defeat the spider in here, this little tower of counts course. as a place of free rest. No random encounters. Usually if you rest in an area there will be random encounters. Which are bad, obviously. But here there's no random encounters. Mm. Very handy in this part of the game. I want to try and break free. He doesn't need to move, but I want to break free because his dexterity affects his combat. Yes, sir. And because he's done that. Yes. Oh. Oh. Can I charge it now? Okay. I'm off. Now. Right away. By the gods' will. Yes, sir. You can only charge attack if it's green or yellow. As you I wish. Okay. As you wish. Me go that. Spell the proper button somewhere. 
sorcerer's spells are affected by starting. Okay. Ah. I'd say yes. Good one. Right away. Right away. Come on, man. Steady escape. They still can't move. I think we got that movement. Okay. As you wish. Yeah, I think it's related to web. Miko that. Okay, good. And let's leave this chest. I'm off. I'm off. It doesn't have anything particularly I'm off. great in it. I think I this isn't the one with the scroll. I shall be it? wealthy. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I'm going to rest off camera and I'm going to read some scrolls. And I hope you enjoyed that. In the next part, we'll be doing the main part of the, the moat house. Cool.